I'm Ebenezer Samuel, fitness director for Men's Health. If you want to build a massive chest that stands out in a t-shirt, in a sweater, or if you're wearing no shirt at all, yes, push-ups are great, but at some point, you're gonna want to bench press. The easiest and safest bench press you can do is the dumbbell bench press. We're gonna show you how to do that perfectly right now. There are a couple styles of bench pressing out there. There's powerlifting, there's CrossFit, there's traditional hypertrophy. We're gonna stick to hypertrophy today because that's the kind that's gonna build the strength and size that you want. The other versions are not wrong, but we wanna focus on this one version today. A couple things we wanna go over before we even get on the bench press, I want you not to arch. And I'm gonna show you this again once we get on the bench, but a lot of guys tend to get on, they tend to arch, maybe lift their butt off the bench. You want all that sturdy on the bench. We're gonna to try to stay in a nice straight line once we get on there. We're gonna start from our feet and work our way up our body to get this right. The first thing I want you to do, feet flat on the floor, heels really pressed in. You see a lot of guys out there, they're kind of doing this on the bench. There's no purpose to that, not for what we're going through. You wanna make this a total body move, get your whole body stable and strong, and you're really starting by pressing through those feet. We're also pressing through those glutes. You're really squeezing your glutes. You're on this bench, but you're not lying on it lazy. You're in an aggressive, powerful position that's with your glutes squeezed. And when you fail near the end of a set, when you're struggling to get those last couple reps, instead of flapping all over the place or arching your back, I want you to squeeze your glutes really tight and drive up through those legs. You're gonna see people arching like this. That's fine if you're a power lifter. Right now we're doing a hypertrophy bench press. Because of that, I really want you to use these abs, use your six pack, drive that rib cage closed. It's gonna put you in, again, a better position to move your chest and it's gonna let you get more range of motion on your chest, really working that chest more aggressively instead of being here where it starts to turn into a decline press if you get a big enough arch. We want this to be a flat bench press to hit as much chest fiber as possible from that angle. We're gonna lie down, drive those shoulders into that bench. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades tight and depress. So I want you to scapular retract at your scapular and then depress. So your lats are alive and providing a sturdy platform for you to bench. When you're holding those weights, don't have them flared out here. You do not want your elbows in the same line as your shoulder. We're gonna tighten up our lats a little bit once we get on that bench, have our elbows at about a 45 degree angle, maybe a little more, whatever's comfortable for you. That's gonna help protect your shoulder joints, protect your rotator cuffs. We're gonna talk a lot about shoulder joints today and that's because it's something we really wanna protect whenever we're doing any exercise, but especially on this bench. When you pick up those weights, I want you to really squeeze those dumbbells tight. Don't just cradle them. The more you squeeze them, it's gonna help you radiate through the shoulder. It's gonna give you a little more power for you to bench as you get up in weight. That's really gonna help you out. As we raise those dumbbells, look at that angle again. We're not here. We're definitely not here. We're not worrying about twisting anything. We wanna stay at that nice 45 degree angle, really driving those shoulder blades down. And that's really gonna, again, keep our shoulders safe. We're lowering, again, we're not lowering out here. We're lowering at that nice controlled 45 degree angle. Come down, you wanna stop maybe an inch or two above your chest, drive back up with power. Even when we're driving up, we're still keeping our back tight. We're not driving up here. That's not bad for certain lifts, but again, we wanna stay hypertrophy focused and we wanna stay nice and safe at the shoulder joint. So we're keeping those shoulders back, driving up, squeezing with our chest. Bang out another rep. That is the basic bench press. If you guys are just starting out, I want you to get comfortable with the motion, keep the reps a little bit high, work three sets of 10 to 12 once or twice a week. Once you start to advance, you can start to add a lot more weight, drop the reps a little bit, but let's start basic. As a bonus for you guys, I've got two other mods that can help you work on that bench press and challenge you a little bit too. If you're struggling at all with the bench press or you have any shoulder trouble, one of the easiest ways that you can continue to train the bench press is with the floor press. This is also good if you wanna really load up your bench press a little more than you can on the standard bench press. So here, your elbows can't dip below your shoulders. That's gonna help protect your shoulders. You're observing all your other good bench press cues. And just let those upper arms flatten out on the floor. 
Think three sets of 10. And if you've had a nice easy time on that bench press and you're owning it, one fun way that you can push the bench press to another level is the hollow body floor press. This is one of my favorite challenge moves and it's a really good way to train your abs to stay tight and train your abs to stay involved in the bench press. It's really gonna help you build an awesome six pack too while building your chest at the same time. To do this one, you lie back on that floor, really press that lower back into the ground so your shoulder blades are off the ground and your feet are off the ground. Your legs are nice and straight and just press up with control. Really trying to keep that core tight with those abs, pulling your rib cage in. It's the only way to get through a hollow body floor press. Think three sets of eight to 10. I'm dying on this move, just showing it to you guys. Have fun with it. <laughs>